What is it again? She has uh, she has can be kind of Is who else? Yes, she could uh, she could has came earlier. She could has came earlier. Yes, she more came. She came. Yes. Yes, she has come early. Yes, she has come early. So where is Khan? She could. She could. Yes. 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 Yes, she can. Okay. I did it yesterday. Yesterday I did it. I told you there is a strict order in which the components of the verb phrase follow. Put the model before the verb. We have to put the model first. The second is the perfective. The third is the progressive, and finally, passive and main verb. So, she can. How can you put has after can? How can in the world one say she can has? How many times did we say that the modal verbs? like can, could, would, would, and others, they take infinitive after that. Did I say this before or not? Yes, yes sir. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So how can I say can have, can has? We say can have. She can have come earlier. Came or come? Came. 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 The past participle of come is came. come. Yes, in the past. The past is came. Okay. Yes. It is too late, nothing matters. Now. Yes, please. Yes? Uh, it is to raise nothing matters now. Nothing matters now. Matters now. Is she right? No. Yes, she's right. Nothing matters. That's all. Nine. It rains, but stop. Yes. Yes, it was raining, but it, uh, but it stopped. It was raining, but it stopped. 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 Yes. stopped. stopped. I said you have to choose the perfect and perfect continuous. Okay. You don't have to use the past yes. continuous. Yes. It has been raining, but it stopped. It has been raining, but it's, what is this, is? It. It stopped. stopped. If we say it stopped, this is past simple. And we said that you don't have to use any other tenses, but only perfect and perfect continuous. It has stopped. It has, stopped. It has been raining, but, but it has stopped. I saw Yes. But it has stopped. But it, but it has stopped. Sorry? English, please. You can speak English. Uh, he tells us to write either perfect or perfect continuous. Yes. So we said it has been written. But we don't have perfect. Is it okay if we say, but it stopped? Yes. I see John yesterday. 
Yes. 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 Forty-seven. The future. We have discussed before that how many tenses do we have in English? We have three tenses. Past, present, present, and future. We have said some people say there are two tenses only, which are the past and the present. And the future is not a tense, they say. One of them is the author of this book, Randolph Quirk and Sidney Greenwood. They say the future is not a tense, but it is a time. We use some devices to indicate or to denote to that time, to convey that time in our sentences, to make the people know that this is a future, so it is a time. Okay, who can read for us? Yes. Yes, yes see it. The future. There is no obvious future tense in English uh, corresponding to the time. Tense relation for present and past. And instead, there are several uh, possibilities for uh, denoting future time. Futurity, moderate, uh, modality, and aspect are closely related. And the future time is uh, renaded by means of model auxiliaries or semi auxiliaries or by simple present form or progressive form. Okay, thank yes. you. Look, he is saying here that we don't have future tense, but we have what? Future time. We can use the models, we can use the aspect, we can use some other devices through which we can refer to that time, not tense. Clear? Yeah? Yes. 3.37 will add shall. Yes, please. Underline this colorless, neutral future. the first devices, the first tools which we can use in order to denote the future are will and shall. We use them in order to indicate the future time. 
Look at the structure of whole and shell. You will find that both of them will be followed by infinitive. Just like the models. Like can, could, would. They are followed by infinitive. مو يجيني بعدين واحد ويقول لي والله هاز This is a kind in English Okay So But each device refers to something else in the future Each tool refers to something different in the future Like will and shall what kind of a future they denote? The kind of future is neutral, colorless. What does it mean, neutral, colorless? And without color, without any bias, it is only just general future. Something will happen or expected to happen in the future. When in the future, you don't know exactly and it is not intended, something general. Will and shall, both of them are being used in British English, while in American English, they use only will. They say I will, they say I, they will. While in British English they say, I shall. So there is somehow difference. Yes, you can continue. Yes, in the back. No, no, the auxiliary construction. They will have finished uh, their book by next year. Note other model auxiliaries can have future reference also. He may leave tomorrow equals he will possibly leave. Okay. So there are two things here, right now. The first one is, look, there is also an expression, like there is a construction, in which we use a different kind of future in this kind of construction. We said if we use only well and shall, we refer to colorless future. It means that it is general future. There is nothing specified in this future. While here, there is a construction, a special construction, in which we can see that something in the past from the orientation of the future as you can see like for example at 7 o'clock <coughs> or sorry if we say at 11 o'clock or at 10 o'clock 10.30 we will have finished. It is perfect in the future. It means that at that time, you will see something in the past gone. This is a combination of the perfect tense and the future. It is called future perfect. Like for example, at 10, 30, we will have finished our lecture. Clear? Yeah? Yes. So we then will, we consider will as a model here. Then have, which is the perfectness, yeah. like this one. She can 
have come. She will have finished. We will have finished at that time. Clear? Yes. There are other models in the note. They can refer to the future, like may. Like may. I can say he may leave tonight or tomorrow. This may is equal to will. Will. I can say he will leave tomorrow. The same meaning if we say he may leave tomorrow. Okay. Let's go to be going to plus infinitive. You know that many people use is going to. For example, he is going to have a baby. He is going to have a new bike. He is going. Or the American people, they say he is going to have. But there's a difference in the in the type of future they denote. Out of the love, be men. Min istamal wa akhtila bil mustaqbal illi yushira nalas. Yeah, the mustaqbal illi yushar ilay al tariq al wul. Yaktilf an al mustaqbal illi yushar ilay al tariq. Going to. Let us see what is this difference? Yes. Yes. Read. Read one three eight. Read plus infinity. This construction is not future term of the present. Look, so this is that. It is. We said in will and shall, the kind of future is. Colorless and neutral. The kind of future here is what? Future fulfillment of the present. Underline this. Future fulfillment of the present. It means that something in the future which is fulfilled in the present. Okay. Look at the more carefully. We going to have to know a specific meaning. Of which one? Future or present invention. Use the uh, is used shift with the uh, present subject. For example, we are uh, when are you going to to to, to get so, married? So more specifically, he is explaining in more detail to you. He is saying that be going to has two specific meanings. The first one is. Future of present intention. It means that I have an intention to do that thing in the future. Mm -hmm. There is a deliberate intention for me to do that thing in the future. So I use is going to. For example, my intention is to make an exam for you. This is my intention. I am going to test you. I am going to make an exam to you at 10 o'clock, for example. So there is an intention. When we decide to do something? Yes. When we already decide? We already decide. We have already decided, actually. Okay. Like, uh, is used chiefly with personal subjects. Of course it will be used for personal subjects in this case. Why? Because who has the intention? Me. Only the people has the intentions. Can we say that the disc or the dog has the intention? No. The inanimate object, the inanimate things, they don't have intention because they are not persons. Okay. So the example is 
When are you going to get married? Look, you have already decided to get married. And now I am asking you, you are a person, when are you going to? What's the time are you going to? Get married. Continue, see Yes. Uh, the uh, other meaning is the future of present truth. The future of a present cause. So there is a cause in the present which will cause something in the future. Yes, continue. Which is found with the both personal and non personal. Personal and non personal, personal subjects here. Like? For example, she going to have a body, a baby. It is going to rain. Okay. There is a cause which is found now. There is a trace which is found now. It makes you anticipate. It makes you expect something will happen in the future. Like, for example, it is going to rain. Why? Because it's cloudy. There is a cloud. Yes. She's going to have a baby. Because she is, she is pregnant. pregnant. You can see her. Well, okay. Both of these. Yes, continue this. Both of these suggest that the event is already on the way. Okay. On the way. There's a sign. Yes. He going to uh, is not general. Used in the main course of the conditional sentence. Will or shall be prepared and used. It's good. For example, if you leave you now, you will never regret it. Okay. Thank you. Be going to, we have seen that there are two main uses. The first one is a future of present intention, not personal. A future of present intention. And in this type, the subject is personal. The second one is a future of present cause. There's a reason here. In this case, the subject can be personal and non-personal. But we forget everything about these uses if we make the future in the condition. If we want to make a conditional clause, like if he comes early, he will get empty seat, vacant seat, for example. If he comes late, he will be dismissed. I don't say he is going to be dismissed. Why? Because this is a condition. And in the condition, we don't use going to. Forget about it. Okay, sorry. Is it clear? Yes, it is. Okay. Present progressive. Why is he telling us about present progressive here? We are <coughs> discussing what? The future. And he's telling us there is a present progressive. There must be some relation. Yes, CN? Read for us. Yes. Uh, the present progressive refers to, the, uh, to a future I have been uh, accepted, uh, anticipated, anticipated uh, in the present. Its basic meaning uh, is fixed arrangement, plan, uh, or uh, uh, program. He is moving to London. Okay. So the present continuous can refer to the future. What kind of future is this? Look at it. It refers to fixed arrangement, a plan, or a program. For example, she or he is moving to London. He is moving to London tomorrow, maybe. 
Again, I can say. I can say he's going to go. <coughs> or I can say the train is leaving at 6 o'clock. The train is leaving tomorrow, 6 o'clock. I can use the progressor here in order to refer to something in the future. Or it is a program. Yes, continue. Since the progressive, since the progressive is used to deny, uh, deny the present as well as the future, a time adverbial is often used to clarify in which meaning uh, the verb is began uh, begin used. There are uh, they are wishing the dishes now later. Okay. Look, because there will be some confusion and the use of the progressive because you know the progressive present progressive is used in the present continuous and it is also used in the future future i can use it to refer to future and present progressive so we have to use a pro an appropriate adverbial in order to make it clear and in order to remove this confusion like they are washing or he or she they are washing she, she is washing the dishes if I say she is washing the dishes I don't know whether it is whether she is really now washing the dishes or in a future time so it will depend on the adverbial. Later means in the future. She is washing the dishes in the future, later or tomorrow. She is washing the dishes now. It means it's not the future. It is at the time of speaking. Okay? Yes. The present progressive continues. The yeah. present progressive is especially frequently with a dynamic a transitional uh, verb like arrive, come, go, land, start, stop, which refer to uh, transitional the transition between uh, states or conditions. The plan is taking off at 5:20. The president is coming to the uh, UN this week okay and to be more clarified this kind of use that we use the present continuous in order to go to the future time we use mostly the verbs which are transitional verbs you know we have said that the transitional verbs they are dynamic verbs which can refer to something changing from one case to another, from one place to another, like arrive, like come, like other things, starting, stopping, because it is changing from one place to another, from one time to another. So that's why we use these kinds of verbs in order to express this kind of sentence in the future, like the plane is taking off at 5.30, and the president is coming to help because it will be changing. The bus is stopping. It's stopping after 15 minutes. Why? Because it will be changing from one case to another. That's all for this lecture. I hope you get benefits. And we will continue next week, inshallah.